her song on November 7, 1867 to a family of seven. She was the youngest out of all her four siblings. She was a bright student who excelled in physics and math like her father, who was a math and physics professor. After secondary school, Yuri hoped to further her education while a brilliant and curious student. The University of Warsaw only admitted men and Curie was therefore unable to attend Curie's sister, Rania, who hoped to attend additional schooling. As such, they each worked to put the other through school, taking turns on who studied and who worked. In 1891, after Rania finished school, Curie moved to Paris. There, she attended Sorbonne to study physics and mathematics. After years of schooling, Curie began her life and research in Paris. There, she discovered two new elements, radium and polonium. I want to tell you about radium. A most peculiar and remarkable element because it does not behave as it should. When no one believed in her, she believed in herself. Science is changing. And the very people who are running science are the people who believe the world is flat. And I'm going to prove them wrong. Went to Paris to continue her studies at Sorbonne. There, she met Pierre Curie. Oh, Maria Sklodowska. I'm Pierre Curie. Your science is brilliant. <laughs> and in the following year, they were married. She succeeded her husband as head of the physics laboratory at the Sorbonne, gained her Doctor of Science degree in 1903. Her early researches, together with her husband, were often performed under difficult conditions. Laboratory arrangements were poor, and both had to under take much teaching to earn her livelihood. But their hard work paid off when Marie Curie discovered a new element. My instinct is that there is another element that's skewing the results. You think you found an undiscovered element? If you're laughing at me, then I'm... No, I'm not laughing at you. That's exciting. of radioactivity by Henry Becquerel in 1896 inspired the Curies in their brilliant researches and analyses which led to the isolation of polonium. They were awarded the Nobel Prize for the discovery of polonium, but all credit was given to Pierre Curie, even though Marie Curie had done most of the research. In the late 80s and early 90s, women were not treated equally. They were not treated fairly as men were. They were considered housewives. Marie wanted to protest because she was not recognized for her hard work. Everyone made bad rumors about her and spread like wildfire. But Marie <laughs> will have other people's opinions ever affected anything after. Never let those rumors affect her. We are here to present to you two new elements, polonium and radium. We all thought that atoms were finite and stable. Well, it turns out some of them are not. And in their instability, they emit rays. I have called this radioactivity. We are here to tell you that you have fundamentally misunderstood the atom. After the tragic death of Pierre Curie in 1906, Marie took his place as professor of general physics in the Faculty of Science. The first time a woman had held this position, she was also appointed director of the Curie Laboratory in the Radium Institute of the University of Paris, founded in 1914. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen.
some 15 years ago, the radiation of uranium was discovered by Henri Becquerel. And two years later, the study of this phenomenon was extended to other substances, first by me, and then by Pierre Curie. and myself. This study rapidly led us to the discovery of new elements, the radiation of which, while being analogous to that of uranium, was far more intense. Thanks to this discovery of new, very powerfully radioactive substances, the study of radioactivity progresses with marvelous rapidity. Kiri throughout her life actively promoted the use of radium to alter V8 suffering and during World War I, assisted by her daughter Irene, she personally devoted herself to this remedial work. She retained her enthusiasm for science throughout her life and did much to establish a radioactivity laboratory in her native city. Marie Curie used her new discovered element, radium, with a gamma ray source on the X-ray machine. This allowed for more accurate and stronger x-rays. She also created smaller and portable x-ray machines that could be used by medics in the field. In this way, she served many lives and supported the war effort through her work. In the 1920s, Curie's health began to deteriorate while now it is common knowledge of the nauseous nature of freedom and effects of radioactivity as on the human body but marie was not aware of this knowledge it is said that in her lab marie would carry tubes of radium in her pocket therefore the unknown danger of her actions as well as years of close contact with radioactive material it's no surprise marie curie suffered from leukemia late in her life this high energy radiation took its toll on on july 4th 1934, Marie Curie passed away. Her legacy lived on through her eldest daughter, Irene. Irene Curie studied in her parents' Radium Institute. She, as well as her husband, was later rewarded a Nobel Prize in the chemistry for the discovery for artificial radioactivity. In the war, Marie Curie participated in and saved many lives for the last war of her life. And she won it. Oh, Marie Curie. It's time to make this war your war. Please. Things that make us weak are the things that make us strong. We can be x-raying troops before deciding whether they need amputation. Surely you can see that Madam this is- Madam Curie, all I can see is an impractical measure proposed by a woman I know to be eminently practical. I need funds. I need access. I need the ability to go out on the battlefields. You must grant it me. Why, pray, must I do that? Partly because it is right. Partly because I am needed. But mostly, mostly because I am sick and tired. I cough blood most nights, and this is my last fight. And I will win it. A woman who devoted her life to science and her family is an inspiration for many women nowadays that you should never give up just because you are not treated fairly in the society.